everybody, Orphe here. Welcome back to, uh... Because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. Hello, Orphe here. Welcome back to AI the Sonia Valves. Last time we went to Oda, Sonia interrogated Oda. Now we are interrogating his mother. Because she seems to have been at the crime scene. We do not think that she's the killer in the Porringer costume, but she was definitely there. And she said that she remembered some stuff about the warehouse. Uh, she, I, uh, the, the log only goes back so far. <laughs> And I, we're going to interrogate her now, again, so we'll see. I'm wondering if we're going to go into her somnium. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? Oh, boy. I'll be honest. I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true. I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. Uh huh. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. I don't believe it Dante, at all. The criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. Boss, don't be so fucking. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that. I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. Jeez, boss. What the hell? Let's not arrest her. Maybe it looks tense. Were you the one? Who stabbed Oda? That's the, that's the most, you know, part that doesn't make sense. You were in the polar costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes, I, I stabbed him with the knife I brought from home. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just. Why do you get a virus? I don't believe My this shit at is under that witch's spell. I don't believe this shit at all. Dice concerts. She's bleeding him dry. <sighs> I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. Why 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 are you streaming online? Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? I'm not stupid. I might be old, but could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. Uh huh. It's more like muscle memory. I was able to get it working after trying a few times. That's all. Uh, no. No. Why? Where'd you get the camera laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. Which garbage? Remember? Are you done lying? It's true. I planned the whole thing. Are you done lying? Because I... I just hated her so much. Killing her wasn't enough. Uh, are you done lying? What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. All right. Same as Iris. Yep, this is this timeline where Renju's actually dead. This yeah. leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. Ba -ma 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 -ma. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? You killed Choco and Renju? Yes, I killed them. Are you done lying? Why are you lying? I am not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half. What was your motive? Isn't Rinju Okura? Yeah, I figured that was what she was gonna. Where the witch I thought she was gonna say that was her motive. Just as responsible, using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. Oh boy. That's why I killed him. Why did that happen? Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. 
but the two divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter! The bonds of matrimony are eternal! In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. Uh, you are really starting to aggravate me! Oh, you're upsetting me that you're lying! I your questions, so there! Stop lying! Well... I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is gonna work? Eh, uh, Dante. I, I have a memory disorder. Yeah. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. We know. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Are we gonna uh, sync with her? Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before... <sighs> Hi! She may have seen the criminal's face. You know what I'm going to say, right? You're going to sink with That's her? It. Sink with her. Yep. From one sink to another. Oh boy. Yeah, I figured we were doing this. It's going to be something like her husband or something, right? Even though he should be dead, I believe. If I remember correctly. But why, why is she? Pewter, we're going to sink with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um... Well, uh, Peter, what's wrong? What happened? The sink machine isn't operating to capacity. Yesterday's sink, well, suffice to say, uh, Ota and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? <sighs> I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's. Responding. Is that why we were small in his... How long will it take to fix? Stop me last time? 16 hours. At least. Oh, brother. But that's impossible. So we can't sink yet, huh? Oh, boy. But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. Awesome, Peter. No. Peter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have to give me at least eight. That <laughs> Peter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. <laughs> yeah, Peter is just that kind of guy. You know? <laughs> oh, poor Peter. <laughs> hey, this is a hostile work environment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, poor Peter. <laughs> Good luck, good luck! <laughs> uh, okay. Man, I really thought we were gonna do uh, two sinks back to back. I guess not. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But who? Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. It's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? Ah, uh, well. Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. I have an idea. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Why? 
Why can't Oda be the culprit? The van stolen at Femi The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. And gloves that exist! Can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Hmm. Huh. Wow! Okay. In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. This is gonna be easily explained. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? How the fuck? What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. Now you, now you say like Iris is... In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. A performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then, they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. Oh, bullshit! She died in the other, uh, in the other route. After that, Iris took her position on the table and well, she wanted to the die. costume and started the song. Hmm. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. True. But to do it that, that means fast. Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then. Uh. Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes, but this is only a theory. Why would they do that? Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. Yeah. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of dies in other rounds and stuff. I don't... Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renji were both exposed and slain. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Yeah, yeah. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic, or even psychotic. We can't rule anything out. Oh boy! Ah, oh, jeez. What are you... Even oh my god, it still feels weird because Aaron Harris dies in other routes and whatnot. It's like, eh, I'm not convinced Iris being the killer, but Ota, why are you? Why did you arrest mom? You said you were gonna clear her. Why? There's a photo of her oh boy. Of course I am. 
That's my mom! What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? Okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer! Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> when I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. <sighs> That's why I'm here. Not like Naomi's under arrest. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Ayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Is Iris the criminal? Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself. Painful. Or asked you to do it. As painful as that would be. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal! That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you faked something, would it, Ota? You... It stays the warehouse incident. This is really important. Telling you I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. About my name is dementia. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But yeah. ever since the explosion eight years ago. The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but... Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. And he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor. We were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC... And idle concert tickets? I had it good. We were drowning in debt. And there's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. Worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university. But right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah. He had a heart attack. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow. A writer? That's a good goal to have. Uh. 
should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? So you still have an ad on the first book published? Yeah, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Ever and ever. Always support you, Hunter. You lied about the other thing, yeah. right? How do you guess? It was really just a few texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But it's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. Not long after I quit college, mom was always smiling at me. I think she was starting to slip mentally. Yeah. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Oda? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie. I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! Oh, that suck. I got sick because I'm such a piece of shit. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse and worse. What's that picture? I'll turn the picture for enemies so I can see. Looking at this photo reminds me. One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to Mom and Dad. And they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. The knife That's and the... what this photo is from. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iva. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit. But I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Yeah, at times. <laughs> hmm. Iva. Let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood.
So the gods start to ask again. <laughs> we go back here a lot. Oh boy. Going back here a lot. Oh my goodness. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Well, what occurred to you? Are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained. The security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? Well, just the one who drove the station wagon. He says he doesn't have any generation. Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Naomi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. How did Naomi get here? The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Naomi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. We found the chocolate Naomi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. That doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? Yeah. She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course. A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. Epic knife the end system server and began her research. She got a result in no time. Found one hit. A taxi. Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemniscate's parking lot. Lemniscate. At Lemniscate? Why? Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. Yeah. We got a driver. We need to see your record. You need to ask you what the hell happened. Oh. Hey, got a minute? Hmm, are you talking to moi? Moi? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. Okay. There we go. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. doing here I have just finished conveying my client from to make a Sano studio okay I was informed that the visit here would be brief and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby uh, about Mayumi better than I got a picture of Mayumi from this I showed the driver did you drive this passenger on Sunday night Ooh, I did indeed I remember her well the old hag Kind of rude. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. Okay. Where are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. Okay. South and boy taxi driver. Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kawasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. Okay, yep. That's where I picked up the old hag. And as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that van, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. 
we pursued Christ. the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Femisto along Koshu, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. Hey, security cameras. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there. While waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move, the old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. Okay. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki and chocolate. Got it. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. Did you see who was driving it? I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Okay. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. We then arrived at a splendid manor. Manor? The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. A manor? We, of course, could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten minutes passed. A manor? What happened in that ten minutes? Again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But thirty minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. I see. About 45 Sky. minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, I, see, I can okay. approximate the time. I see. Please continue. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RERK warehouse. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. I have one more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van? Yeah, I need to know that. Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of Congressman So Sejima. <sighs> I figured. Sejima. I figured. Everything comes, everything comes back to this guy, Jesus. We need to speak with him immediately. Yes. That is an Agreed. understatement. Let's move. That is an understatement. Oh boy. Everything goes back to Sosa Jima. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Drink some water, I need it. Anything comes back to Sosajima, Jesus. This fucking guy. No one here. Can we arrest him for something? <laughs> Anything? I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. This is odd. Hello? Oh. Is anyone here? Hey, Iba. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. Oh god, is it blood? Oh, is there a... A folding screen? What's behind the folding screen? 
the blood. That's a table in the middle of the room. There's something strange about this face. Yeah. Ugh. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Oh god, is his body inside? Oh god, is his body inside? Standard procedure. Break the shit out of it. God, is his body inside? Shit, call the police! Cut into pieces. Oh my god. Right into the broken vase. Oh my god. Hang scroll. Oh god. That is the head of Sosa With his eyeball taken out. Left eye is hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. You figured it out with its body like this? Oh, God! That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. Okay. They have not moved. Good. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? They have a son? No, I'm just Dante, a call from Pewter. Uh Pewter, we Yeah, we need police. Dante, the sick machine is up and running. Bad news, we need cops. Uh actually oh, Thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, we uh Yeah. I found So Sejima's body. The left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Dante, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Naomi was at the warehouse yesterday. And we know the chocolate we found at the scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Yeah. Time to sink. Yeah. We're gonna sink with Mayumi. Time to go sink. I have got that was like his body. I said, is there body in the face? Yeah, that's right. Oh, his body in the face like that. Oh, God. Oh god. Oh boy. investigation of has already begun. I figured. At this very moment, the media is already swarming outside the building. Really? Oh boy. Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah.
In we go! Where am I? What's going on? Where am I? We'll find out next time! Because uh, right now we're going to end this part here. Because uh, <laughs> that's how we do things. We end it when we got to do a sink. That'll be it for now. Oh my god. I was like, so I thought she was dead. And we saw him like die in one of the first, like, in like the first route we went down and stopped there, right? Oh my god. And of course he did. So I was like, I was suspicious that he would die again. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my god. That was like, oh god, like the worst corpse yet. Oh jeez, that's so bad. That was so bad. That's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next part. I hope you have a good day.